Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, then hi, hello, welcome. My name is Tori from the blog wildmotherlife.com. I make videos here on my channel and I also make content on my Instagram, which is at wildmotherlife. And if you are into any of the natural minded mom topics, then I think that you'll like the content that I make. And I would love it if you click the subscribe button here and join my community on my channel. So this is my daughter, Eloin. Say hello. <laughs> and today we want to show you some of the books that I have in my herbal apothecary library the books that I reference all the time they're some of my favorites I am really proud of the collection of herbal books that I have built up over the years and here they are right behind me so I wanted to go ahead and show you the books that I love that I have all the links will be in the description box below feel free to click on them check them out if it's a topic that interests you more all right, so let's get started. Okay, so first up is this book, which I absolutely love, called Medical Herbalism, The Science and Practice of Herbal Medicine by David Hoffman. Okay, this book is huge. It's over like 600 pages, and it is an incredible reference book, but it's written kind of like a textbook. So um, it's scientific, which I love reading more about. It has like all the alkaloids, um, and then it goes through each of the different body systems and the parts of the body and treatment approaches, but like by the body system. So if you are someone who's really interested in herbalism and maybe having a practice, um, I highly recommend having this book. I think it's absolutely necessary for every kind of practitioner, herbalist, doctor, whatever, chiropractor to have a copy of this book. I love it. Okay, next is this book, Prescription for Natural Cures. And honestly, I did not buy this one. I actually found it in one of those give a book, take a book free libraries in front of Whole Foods Market, of course. And I was like, well, I love textbooks like that all about natural medicine. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. It goes through like tons of different diseases and sicknesses. And then it has the different styles of remedies that could help it. So it goes over homeopathic remedies, acupressure, massage, hydrotherapy, aromatherapy, herbs, flower remedies, and other remedies. So I figured it's a good reference to be able to keep on hand. Another book that I have is The Western Herbs According to Traditional Chinese Medicine, A Practitioner's Guide. I honestly haven't spent much time reading this one, um, but I am interested in learning about all the different folk medicine systems, including TCM, so that's why I have this one. All right, another one is Herbal Medicine, Healing, and Cancer, A Comprehensive Program for Prevention and Treatment. Um, this book is written by Donald Yance, who I believe has his own cancer, natural cancer treatment clinic out west, um, and he is very knowledgeable in the treatment of cancer. And so it goes into not just herbs, but all the different things. What is cancer, the nutritional challenges, um, herbal medicine, healing and cancer, using supplements, spiritual focus, lifestyle guidelines. It's a really good one. I haven't read the whole thing, but I feel like it's a really good guide and I am interested in reading it more for his take on the prevention side. And then I have this book, Acupuncture Points Handbook. Um, I'm interested in acupuncture and acupressure and I felt like it was a good reference book to have on hand. I will be honest though, I think it is more meant for a practitioner because I don't really understand everything and it doesn't seem super user friendly. This book is a must have for every person that uses herbs. It's the Herbal Contraindications and Drug Interactions book by Frances Brinker. She's a naturopathic doctor and it's I reference it all the time whenever I'm recommending an herb to someone because it goes through each of the contraindications like where you don't want to use it or when you wouldn't want to use it. So I highly recommend having this as a reference guide if you are interested in herbs or ever use herbs or recommend them to family and friends. All right next is the Modern Herbal Dispensatory, a medicine making guide. This is by Thomas Easley. This is a really nice book. I reference this a lot when I'm trying to learn about different types of herbs. In the Beginning, he goes over different methods to make different medicines with herbs so how to make infusions how to make tinctures how to make glycerites how to make pretty much anything the last half of the book is a materia medica so he goes over each of the 
herbs, and then what the energetics are, what the properties are, specific indications for when you should use it, and then sources on where you can get it from. And speaking of sources from where you can get herbs from, I did just wanna mention, cause a lot of people ask me where you can find good herbs, and I'll probably make a full video about this, but if you are interested in ordering herbs from Mountain Rose Herbs, which is a great website with great quality herbs, then check out the link in the description below um, and check out their website to be able to order from them. I order from Mount Rose Herbs as well as a few other herb suppliers and I really have found the quality to be really good at Mountain Rose Herbs and so I have a link to them in the description if you wanna check it out. All right, next is Herbal Medicine from the Heart of the Earth. I love this book, um, it's by an, a naturopathic doctor and it's just a great reference book to have. The first half of the book is a Materia Medica where she breaks down each herb and then the parts that are used, the taste and the smell of it, um, the dosage of it, and then she goes into the contraindications as well as the specific indications and uses for it. So it is really good to reference when you're trying to learn more about a specific herb. Like if I was like, oh, what are the properties of Dong Kwai again? I can't remember. Then I would just look it up and she goes over the constituents and the uses and what it's for. And then the last half of this book, she breaks down according to body part and uh, um, system. And so she has like, herbal formulas for the digestive system and like here she has a parasite cleanse and she tells you how to make that and gives you all the information about it and then she goes into like the endocrine system and she has an adaptogenic tonic just really good recipes basically to be able to make your own types of remedies and medicine so this is a really good book I highly recommend I've had it for a long time I can't tell you how many times I've referenced it I love it Another one is Wild Remedies, How to Forage Healing Foods and Craft Your Own Herbal Medicine. This book is absolutely beautiful. It has the prettiest diagrams and pictures in here, and it's broken down by season. So it talks about common herbs that you can find in spring, in summer, in late summer, in autumn, and in winter, and like how to forage them and recipes that you can make with them. So I really like this one. If you're interested in foraging, I highly recommend it. While I'm talking about foraging, um, the Peterson Field Guide to Medicinal Plants is absolutely necessary also if you're gonna be foraging. It has so many pictures of like hundreds of different plants to help you identify them and little information about them. All right, the next book is called A Modern Herbal by Miss Grieve. And this I have not actually read, but it is a classic. And I found it at a thrift store the other day. And so I could not turn that down. It's all about like folk medicine, which I think is great to be able to pass on that traditional wisdom and knowledge. So I'm glad that I scooped this one up for like 50 cents at a thrift store. So the next books are healing herbal teas and healing herbal infusions. There's lots of different recipes, beautiful pictures inside of them, both of them for different teas that you can make for different areas and different things that you may need. So those are both good books that are really pretty, really beginner friendly, really fun to look at. All right, next we have the book, Herbal Goddess, Discovering the Amazing Spirit of 12 Healing Herbs. This one is another one that I've had for a long time. It is also so beautiful. I mean, gorgeous pictures and fonts and just, it really keeps you engaged. She breaks down, this one's a little more like woo woo, I guess, um, but she breaks down like 12 different herbs and um, more of the woo side of them and how they affect the body, like the magical side, if you will. And she also goes into like, how they physically affect the body and different recipes that you can make for them. So it's a really fun book, really pretty. Next, I have Herbal Healing for Children by Demetria Clark and an Encyclopedia of Natural Healing for Children and Infants. Both of these are a good reference book for how to use herbs in childhood and like different common childhood remedies and just how to be able to treat them using herbs. So these are two books that I have on my shelf. Another book that I absolutely love is Adaptogens, Herb for Strength, Stamina, and Stress Relief. If you are interested in learning about adaptogens and how to help your body adapt to stress better and the herbs that can do that, I highly, highly recommend this book. It is absolutely fascinating and it goes over what exactly adaptogens are and then it goes into the Materia Medica and information all about 
the different types of herbal adaptogens, ashwagandha, rhodiola, schizandra berry. It's a really good book. Okay, almost done with the books that I have here on my herb shelf. So these last two are by Matthew Wood and they are great books to be able to reference. Um, the Earthwise Herbal Repertoire and the Earthwise Herbal Volume 2, both by Matthew Wood, who is a very well-known herbalist in the herbal community. So love having these to reference on my shelf. And then the last two are these books, Herbal Antibiotics and Herbal Antivirals, which are also really, really great books. I love them. I reference them a lot when I'm in need. Um, I think they're great for every person to have, like for worst case scenario, like we don't have antibiotics anymore. And just to learn about some of the properties, strong properties of these herbal antibiotic herbs and how they work. Same for herbal antivirals for, you know, emerging resistant viral infections. It goes over like the herbs and so many studies and exactly how they work in conquering viruses in the body. So I highly recommend these two books. Okay, so that is pretty much all the herbal books I have. I will say there are actually two um, that I've loaned out for somebody to read and those two are ones that I absolutely love. It's um, an herb book by Rosemary Gladstar and then an herbal healing textbook for women, specifically for women by Dr. Aviva Ram. I love that book and it is great. It goes through every life cycle of the of women and natural therapies for women's health. And I highly recommend that every woman who's interested in natural living should have that book on her shelf. And really quick, I just wanted to go over. So the books on the bottom of my shelf here, um, they are my parenting books, my natural birth books, my nutrition book, and then also my homeopathy books. So just briefly, I wanted to share the homeopathic books that I have in case you're interested in learning more about homeopathic remedies. So I have these two, the Complete Homeopathy Handbook and the Family Guide to Homeopathy. Both of these are awesome, awesome reference books to help you find the remedy that you need for a homeopathic remedy that you need when you're feeling you know, whenever you start having symptoms. And then the other three that I have are this one, Homeopathic Medicine for Children and Infants, which I highly recommend. I love this one. I reference it all the time for my kids. Um, I also found this Homeopathic Med Remedies for Children. I found this at the thrift store for also like 50 cents or 99 cents, so I picked this one up. And then somebody gave this one to me, Homeopathy for the Modern Pregnant Woman and Her Infant. I thought that was great to have a whole book all about, you know, how to use different home homeopathic remedies during pregnancy one more book that I totally forgot to mention because I don't actually own it is this one southern folk medicine by Phyllis light I got this from the library and I'm reading it right now and it is so good I'm definitely going to be picking up a copy for myself and adding it to my shelf soon so highly recommend this book all right so that is all for today if you found this video helpful then I would love it if you gave it a like hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and if you are interested in herbs and you have any of your favorite herbal books that I don't have on my shelf comment the name of them below so that I can look them up and add them to my list to add to my collection because I love collecting herbal books I'm so proud of this collection that I've slowly built up over the past however many years and yeah thank you so much for being here i hope you have an awesome rest of your week stay wild mamas bye